Hey everyone, welcome to the studio. This week is going to be quick. I'm just going to show you a technique for adding wood pattern to any model for 3D printing. It's quick, it's easy, and best of all, no new software. You can do this right in the slicer, and it works with any model you want to print. The technique was shared by MakerWorld user Pandan and uses a clever STL model of a log along with what are called modifiers that change slicer behavior depending on where it overlaps with a model. Really cool and powerful stuff that I will let someone else explain in a different video. This example is done in Bamboo Slicer, but I imagine this also might work in Orca Slicer or Prusa Slicer, which also support modifiers. That's enough yapping, let's get started. First, we're gonna need to head over to Maker World and download the project file. Just search for a user Pandan and head over to their pro profile and click on add wood grain effects to your models. Once here, we have some very detailed instructions and explanations, even a video. These are great for better understanding, but we're just gonna get into how to use this. I'll pick clean wood plate and hit open in Bamboo Studio to load their project completely set up. All right, once this loads, we can see the different parts. We've got the log and then we've got the plate or whatever you wanna add the wood effect to. I have already picked out a simple catch-all tray for demonstration purposes, so I can right click the plate and say replace with STL. And then just pick the file that I want. And it's going to swap that out right there. And that's it. So we want the log and the dish to intersect. And so I'm gonna bring the log up just a little bit and then I'll go ahead and hit slice plate and we'll see what happens. And very cool. So now we can see that wood grain texture being applied to our model. I don't really like the way that the wood grain is going here. So I'm gonna go back into prepare and just modify our modifier by just rotating it so that the grain is going kind of lengthwise the fake grain. And make sure that those are still good and overlapping and I'll hit slice plate. I found that this takes a little bit longer than usual. That's just fine, let it run. And once it does, boom, now we've got the grain has changed directions here to align with that log. So this looks pretty good. I'm gonna hit print. Wow, this is right off the printer and that subtle wood texture is surprisingly convincing. I also tried out a wood textured calibration dragon by scaling down the modifier to make the grain tighter. It's a little rough, but still does a great job at showing how this technique can work with all sorts of models. I'm going to put links to both Pandan's wood texture file and the catch-all tray designed by Delta Prince in the description below. And that's it. Pretty crazy, huh? Okay, I hope this helps out someone out there. Big thanks to Maker World user Pandan for coming up with this technique and being awesome enough to share it with the world. Very cool stuff. It really makes me wonder if slicer makers will maybe take note and start including things like this directly. A one-click wood texture button would be pretty crazy. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hit like and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Happy printing.